Welcome back. You're listening to Get Real. I'm your host, Bob Callagher, joined in studio by a very special guest and real estate agent to the stars, Nelson Zide. <laughs> Which stars? All of them. All of them. Okay, All of them. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody who's anybody uses Nelson Zide. Absolutely. Thank you. Welcome to the show, Nelson. Good to have you back. It's always a pleasure to be here, Bob. I really appreciate it. No problem. So we we invited you back to the show to talk about uh, all the crazy things happening in the market and <laughs> some maybe dispel some of the myths about yes. buying, buying and selling, selling in general. Right. Why don't you tell us a little bit of, you know, one of the things we talked about before we got started today was uh, people that have to buy or sell and buy. Right. A lot of people think you can't do anything until you've sold your house. Correct. But the... There is another side to that. Why don't you tell us a right. little bit about it? Well, one of the things that I think people are somewhat concerned about, because mm-hmm. uh, they're still thinking way back when, right. is that, oh, I can't afford to buy a new house, whether they're upsizing to getting into a bigger home, mm-hmm. downsizing to a little smaller home, depending upon the situation. Oh, I can't do that. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough equity. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I have to have 800 credit scores, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm here to dispel that rumor and myth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean everybody can do it, right? but- if you have reasonable credit, now we were talking before we went on there, we were talking about FHA, mm-hmm. Federal Housing Authority, that you can have a credit score as low as 600, 610, 620 mm-hmm. in that range with only a 3.5% down payment mm-hmm. and still be able to qualify to buy a house. True. So if you have decent credit, not whopping 800, but decent credit, mm-hmm. and only 3.5% as a down payment, now think about this for a moment. That's not a lot of cash. You do not need 20% as a down payment. Right. If you're going to buy a $400,000 home, just pick a number. Let's right. even do five. I'm right. go crazy. Yeah. I make more money. Buy five. So a $500,000 <laughs> home, I mean, 3.5% is like less than $20,000. Right. It's not so, a lot of money. Not a lot of money. And a lot of people have that. Right. Now. If, if you were talking to me today, I'd say, be, you know, you should think about this. You've, always, you've wanted to do this last few years. Call Bob Callagher at Ross Mortgage. Mm-hmm. Call him. Get pre-approved. I already own a house, Nelson. I don't know if I can afford both. I'm not going to say financially it won't be a strain on mm-hmm. a short term. You're going to make two mortgage payments. It's a strain. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to kid you. But think about this thought process for a moment. Is that if you could go out and try to find the home you want to buy, and mm-hmm. especially today when inventory is still exceptionally low. Right. It is a low inventory. It is absolutely buyer's market. I should say it's a seller's market right. because there's no homes. So if you found the home that you liked mm-hmm. and you can afford to buy right. without selling, there's a lot of flexibility. Right. So now you go ahead and you buy. Right. Okay. You move in. Now we can clean out your house. We can get it staged correctly. Right. We don't even have to bother you for letting people in. We can get people in really quick, really easy. Right. And then when you're selling, now you've sold, you bought, you're in the new home, and now you've sold your old home. Right. Now you have another $100,000 of cash. Mm-hmm. Fine. So what you do is you now you go back to Bob Callagher at Ross Mortgage. <laughs> yep. And you say, Bob, I need to refinance the home. I want to put 20% down. I'm going to build in my closing costs on my new loan. You're out of private mortgage insurance. You have a lower loan, lower mm-hmm. payments. And now you finally, you did what you really wanted to do, right. which was find the home you want. I'm just doing that with somebody right now right. that they can afford to buy without signing. I've done this a few times. Right. Now, these people, by the way, they have no mortgage on their home. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's so a lot easier. A lot easier. Yeah. They're getting a home equity credit line. Right. And they went to a local bank. And if you have a lot, if you don't have much of a mortgage, by the way, a home equity credit line is a good thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. It costs you nothing to apply, mm-hmm. nothing to close. Mm-hmm. You know, it's really interest only for a short term. Right. Although a lot of banks will charge you a termination fee if you sell the house right away. That's what so, I think. But still, so they pennies. charge you a, a pennies, a, a couple hundred bucks, yeah, a thousand bucks. But guess what? That does it gives you the cash that you need for your down payment. Right. It's at a very low interest rate. It's only on a temporary basis so that you can make yourself a good buyer right. ready to close. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you close, you pull your credit line, you move your stuff out, you get your house ready to sell, you get your house on the market, you don't have to worry about people schlepping through your home, running mm-hmm. through the boots and the snow and the wet and the mud and all the stuff that I hear all the time from sellers, take your shoes off, and <laughs> everyone hates taking their shoes off. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially when there's hardwood floors and we're sliding all the way oh, through. Oh, yeah. Nobody likes you know, like that. You know, I just come waiting for the stairs. You fall down stairs because it's hardwood floors. And oh, you have yeah. No show. Oh. But, boy, no one thinks about that. Right. But if you are out there thinking 
because now you, you caught the economy is better. It's mm-hmm. stronger. Your job looks okay. Looks like you're going to be there for a while. This is something you really want to get. Talk to your lent, talk to your local realtor. Mm-hmm. No, talk to me. Yeah, okay. That's right. Then talk to your local realtor. Possibly. And that's Nelson Zide. And if you're listening right now and you're thinking about buying or selling anywhere in the Metro West area and surrounding areas, give Nelson a call. 508-277-7794. Again, it's 508-277-7794. Or you can even email Nelson at nelson at nelsonzide.com. And I should also point out, Nelson's a big fan of texting now, too. So email, <laughs> text, call, however you can get a hold of him. And I can tell you my, my own personal philosophy, which, again, people don't think about this from salespeople mm-hmm. and or especially real estate people. You email me, you text me, you call me within 24 hours. If I, You will get a phone call or a text or an email back. That's right. You always will to say, let's get together and chat. Right. You know, always, 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 because I think your time is, is vital and critical. And I think yeah. my time is too. But you're, you're my new customer, my new client. I want to touch base with you. Right. I appreciate the fact that you took the time to call or email me, text me. I'm going to get back to you. Always. And I always tell people, and I know you do too, because mm-hmm. I, I, I use you a lot. I said, any questions, you have to let me know. Absolutely. Don't do something or not do something. Right. Either way. And then without letting me know, because Len, I can direct you to the right people. Bob, you can direct, direct them to the right people. And you want to go to the right people. That's the whole idea. Not oh, deal yeah. with, well, I'm going to deal with my cousin, second time we moved, who's right. part-time. And you're going to buy a three or four, $500,000 home no. for someone who knows Zippos? No. In this day and age? Absolutely you are, not. You are nuts. You are absolutely nuts if you do that. Right. So you really need to, and, and that's a food for thought because I'm seeing more and more of my clients, people I've sold homes to five and ten years ago, mm-hmm. who are now thinking of doing that. They've built up a fair amount of equity. Mm-hmm. Uh, their, their job is, is fairly stable. And say, so, well, I like to buy a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I want a little different area because I, I settled my first on my first home. Now I want to get a little nicer area. Right. You know, all of a sudden you could sell at 350 and buy at 400. Maybe you could buy it 400 first mm-hmm. and sell it 350 to make it easier for you to make that move. Now, right. not everybody can. Don't get me wrong. Not right. everybody can. But there's a lot more people out there who think they can. And y- y- you just don't understand that low credit, you know, is not an insurmountable. Now, bad credit is insurmountable. Yes. <laughs> okay. It really is, low yeah. credit is not insurmountable. Right. You don't need 800 credit scores. You don't need 20% down. It's nice, right. but you don't need it. Right. There are a ton of slow down payments, whether it's FHA or conventional. Uh, now, if this, does Fannie Mae do 3% down? Yeah. Yeah, okay. they have a great new program. Uh, we'll be talking actually next week uh, about okay. that program because it's just come out. But it's a lot of great stuff, a lot, a lot of things. Because gr- the federal government wants people to buy again. Absolutely. And they don't mind as long as all the factors fit. Right. You can't put the square peg in the round hole, but if the round right. hole fits that round peg, correct. You can get low down payments, right. relatively easy. Interest rates today, I think, are below four percent. Yeah, they're around or below. So I mean, it, everybody thought by this time we'd be heading up into the fives, but it's thanks not there. to China's economy falling apart, where our rates are still pretty well, that's low. That's because they own half. No, I won't say yeah. that. <laughs> well, they do own half. They do. The, I know. I know. Estate, but you know what? That's you're probably going to see that change again. Yep. Right? Everything goes in, in cycles. cycles. Yeah. It always does. And therefore, never sit back and say, I can't do it. I can't do it. Right. I will tell you, I, I respect this young lady. She called me up. She was a tenant in a place. She said, my landlord said, call me. I could buy the place. She wanted to buy. Maybe you could buy. Well, I sat down and I talked to her. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, the problem is you don't have a job. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> so going to stop you from buying. That yeah. will stop you from buying. Yeah. And I said, she said, I sort of thought so. But I said, I appreciate the time. Yeah. And she said, I appreciate the time you, you took. To spend with me at least to tell me what I have to do yeah. in order to try to get a job, try to get enough of an income mm-hmm. so that I could go and buy a home. Right. Great. Right. So I would, if you're in that position, I would absolutely talk, sit down, talk to me, talk to Bob. You know, l- let us at least get to the right people right. and see. Right. Hey, if it's not possible, there are ways we can try to tell you how to sell your home and buy another one too. Mm-hmm. If you have to sell first, but boy, I'm going to see. I've seen. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to continue to see more and more and more people buying their home first and selling later. I've got one client who has a house on the market now Mm -hmm. who went and bought a house. As a matter of fact, they put their adult child on the loan with them. Mm -hmm. So now you had husband, wife. 
who's going to move into this lakefront house. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. They wanted a lakefront. Been, that was their dream. We found it. Yeah. But they still had a home to sell, and they didn't quite have enough. Mm-hmm. So they have all adult kids. So they brought one of their adult kids on the loan with them on their temporary basis until they could sell the house. Mm-hmm. So they bought what they needed. Now the house is on the market. So there's always more than one way to skin the cat. Oh, yeah. So that, that would be the, the, the number one message I would try to give to all your audience out here today. Yes. Do we have time for another one? Of course. I'm just checking. I we don't always want... do, Nelson. There's um, always time for you. Always time for Nelson. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and my wife doesn't tell me that, but I'm glad she did. If you're listening, honey, no, that's not true. I know. <laughs> uh, the, the other thing I thought I can mention is first-time home buyers. Mm-hmm. There are still a lot of people out there who believe, again, the same thoughts. I need mega credit. Mm -hmm. I need mega down payments. I'm a single person. Mm -hmm. I'm all by myself, and I can't afford to buy. And yet, you're paying $1,000 to $1,800 a month to rent Mm -hmm. a a house or a condo. Right. And for that same amount of money or less, Mm -hmm. you go out and buy that same place. Mm Mm-hmm. And you own it. Right. And you build up equity over the next three to five years. Mm-hmm. You Now you can do what you want without having to call the landlord, can I paint the walls racing stripes? <laughs> because they won't let you. If you're into you. that. If you're into racing yeah. stripes, circles, uh, yeah. you know, all sorts of different colors. And I want to hang up all my lovely famed pictures of right. whoever. When it's yours, you can do whatever you want. When it's yours, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. And it's interesting. I have a, a, a gentleman now who's uh, just in the process of buying his very first home. He's 70 years old. Wow. And he's buying a condo. He said, I'm tired of renting. I don't have much time left. I want to at least be able to say I own something, and then when I go, I'm going to give it to my daughter. Good for I him. I said, good for you. I mean, it, 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 it's, I got to tell you, it's a little townhouse. Yeah. In Worcester for 120s. I can't believe you could get a little oh, townhouse. Oh, and it's a one. beautiful townhouse with a finished basement. Wow. One and a half baths. And a great five minutes from four, from the Mass Pike. In the 120s? In the 120s. Wow, I wouldn't think you could get oh, something yes, like that. Oh, yes, you can. Wow. And, you know, he didn't think so either. Yeah. But yet, we're going to be do- we're, we're doing that. So if you think you're out there, I'm I just met a broker, uh, you know, a few days ago mm-hmm. who didn't have a lockbox key, so I met her at a condo. I spoke to a buyer who was there before the agent came. Well, I'm renting in Brookline by myself, but I work in Natick. I said, let's go buy. I'm glad you're buying a place in Natick. Yeah, why she would you said, rent in Brookline? <laughs> well, I don't really know. And the amount of rent she's paying is going to be more than what the cost of a two-bedroom condo is in Natick that she's looking to buy. Wow. And I said, you should have done this before. She said, I know. It took me a while, but I am now ready, and yeah. I really want to try to do something because now my job, if I buy here, yeah. 10 minutes away. What's a two-bedroom condo go for in Natick now? Uh, the Natick Greens, which is where this is, is around the 250s. In Natick, you can get in the 250s? 250s to low 260s. Wow. If they're really nice and redone, they're mid to upper 250s, low 260s. If they're not redone, they're 240s. Two bedroom, two bath, 900 square feet. I can't even believe you Which can actually get really, into Natick and at you that can get into Natick. If you want to buy a one bedroom, I can get you in under 200000 for in 700 Natick? In Natick, wow. across from the T-station, so you can walk to the T-station yep. to get into the city or to Worcester. It goes yep. either way. With a pool... And a tennis court yeah. for under a hundred, under two hundred thousand, wow. and they're nice. I mean, I they're not big; they're seven hundred square feet, but they're not all king size bedrooms. Wow! You know, galley kitchens and nice. See, if you would have told me you could still get into Natick at that price point, I would have thought you were crazy. <laughs> You know, the last time I saw, I mean, I guess right. if you're looking at a single family, sure. I think it's probably a bunch uh, of different stories. Single family is, is a whole different ball game. Yeah. And, and I get to, even in framing him, there's not much. I mean, I can find a few under 300 in framing him, but decent. Really? But, oh, yeah. But I can find decent three to four. I can find great houses in Marlboro in the threes without a question. Wow. Without a question. And I can find him in the threes. Yeah. I mean, even low threes, I can find him. I mean, not too long ago, six months ago, I had a client... They bought a really nice cape up near Fort Meadow Lake for wow. 300000 A full shed cape, one and a half bath, two bedrooms up, two king-size bedrooms for wow. 300000 That was less than six months ago. Yeah, so even though pricing has gone up, yes. you can still get into those markets if you're a first-time buyer. You can absolutely get into those markets. And with the interest rates as low as they are today, mm-hmm. and you were telling me, and I thought so too, we all thought rates would be in the fives now. Oh, God, yeah. They're not in the fives. They're at four or below yeah. in most cases. Yeah, I depending. Say most cases, yeah. Depending. Yeah. 
But if you can still get in at a 30-year fixed rate yeah. with a low down payment in an under 700 credit score yep. for 4%, now, I don't, I'm going to put you on the spot. Mm-hmm. A $300,000 loan at 4% today will cost someone principal and interest? Oh, that's mm, I'm putting you on the spot. 1500 ish yeah, It's not a okay. lot of money. All right. So for under $2,000 a month, mm-hmm. under principal and interest taxes, homeowners insurance. Well, that's just principal and interest. I know. But if I add, <laughs> if I add, yeah. I have anything that's less than that, but that's beside the point. Yeah. I don't have my mortgage less. calculated yeah. with me, so I'm not going to try. The bottom line is even if you're just putting 10, 5 or 10% down on a $300,000 property, you'd still be under two grand a month. Under for two a pro- grand a month. And you know what? If you were renting it, you'd be paying over 2000 Oh, easily. And you get no tax benefits, no equity benefits, no nothing. Right. You own it, you get some tax benefits because almost a third of your monthly payment is going to be tax deductible. Absolutely. So Where why the not rent do you it? Won't. Why wouldn't you do it, which yeah. now you get nothing back as a tenant. Right. Or well, almost nothing. There is some state credit right. in there, but almost nothing. Oh, your, your microphone went out on me, I know. Nelson. What that's, happened? That's odd. I don't know. I don't, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're pretty close to the end. You want to switch seats with over here, Nelson? There you go. Let's just take that one. And Does we this get one back work? On. Yeah, we, we're back okay. on now. I, I, you little, lost me, Bob. How did you lose me? I don't know. <laughs> I think you blew up the microphone. Oh, I must have been with my excitement to be able to <laughs> yes, say, if was. you are a first-time home buyer, yeah. if you are not seriously considering buying, believe me, call a professional realtor. Mm-hmm. Okay, Don't call your part-time Cousin on your father's side, twice removed. Right. Not yeah. a good idea. Not a good move. Not a good move that you will get killed. Right. This is a big deal. Buying a house is a big deal. Oh, you yeah. want somebody that's going to be strong on the negotiation side and helping you make the right decisions. Absolutely. And knows the market method. I had a referral today if someone wants to buy in uh, North Shore, Peabody in Wilmington. And I said, I would love to. I can't help you. Let me get you a realtor who can help so you. So you set them up with the right and people. And I set them up with the right people. Well, Very Nelson, important. I want to thank you for being on the show again. I'm going to give out your contact info again. It's Nelson Zide at ERA Key Realty in Framingham. Give him a call at 508-277-7794. Again, it's 508-277-7794. we got to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more Get Real after this.